Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things and today I'm going to share with you a way to find the shoes of your dreams for a fair price. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things. In this video, I'm going to share with you a way to find the shoes that you're looking for at a fair price. So this involves sitting in front of the computer and Googling. So let's do this, but shh, don't share this thing with anybody else. Okay, so here we go. The first thing you're going to do is open up Google and type in on your browser shopping.google Com. This is the main site. Now all you're going to have to do is type in here what you're looking for. So for example, the shoes that I really, really, really want to find out are the Boston 9, which is my favorite shoe of all time. And when I go in there, it pulls up a few options for me. These are actually a good price. $79.19, this is a good price. However, if I want to find them for a specific amount, if I'm on a budget, um, all I have to do is click here, the price range that I am thinking of paying for. See that? I can even put in here the amount, the exact amount I want to find them for. So let's imagine I want to pay anywhere between 70 and $8. I would just type those amounts and click apply and then I am there and it takes me exactly to the stores that are selling that shoe for the price that I want to pay. So obviously we don't know if these stores have our shoe size. How do we solve for that? Well the number one thing that I would do is obviously say that I am a woman and Scroll down to the shoe size, which I am an eight. And then there's only one store that sells the shoes I want, the Boston 9, in between $70 and $80. That's Poshmark. And it's telling me as well that the delivery is gonna cost me $7.67. Now, if you see this to the top right of your screen, you can click there. These are actually products that I have surfed before I had searched for before um, and what you can do is actually track products so I have the Adidas Boston 9 there but I can create a new tracking I can even create a collection so let's say shoes okay. um, and I can keep track of my collection there so these are track products let's do a new search and let's say I want to find the Alpha Flies. Alpha Fly next percent. See, Google is smart, it knows already. Okay, these shoes are so freaking expensive. Okay, so none of these prices are what I want to buy them for. Well, maybe this one actually. It was $350. Man, that gives me the chills. Um, so I can click here, what price I want to pay for. Let's say up to 150. Let's see what. Oh, so I can do women's here. Let's scroll down because I need to see if they have my size. Let's click on an eight. And actually, this looks pretty good. These are the Apple Fly Tempos. Oh, you know what? I didn't choose the women. That's important. And this is what it tells me. So first thing you need to pay attention to is that it tells you shoes that they understand the algorithm things are similar to the one you're looking for. So I'm looking for the Alpha Fly Next Percent. It gives me that option, but it also shows me the Vapor Fly Next the Zoom Fly 4, the Zoom X Invincible. I don't want any of those. I want this one. This is actually a really good price. It's Canadian dollars though. So, so now if I do that, I am adding this to the list. And 
that was pretty easy. So now I have a search going on for the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent for women's in my own size, size 8. And what we're gonna do is track the price. So when it then, then when it drops in price, Google's gonna send me an email alert so I can come in here and buy it. So let's do let's go to the cheap one here. So these are the ones I want. Alpha Fly Next Percent. Always read the description because sometimes it gives you other suggestions like this one. This is a different shoe. This is not the shoe that I want. Okay, so this one, $85, is actually a really good price. But if you click on the actual product right here, and then click on view product details right there, right on this link. You will access this other web page and you will be able to track the price right here. Now you'll get a price drop alert for these specific shoes when they drop down in price on this website. What you would need to do is to go on all the websites and track the price for all the different items because this is only for this particular site, which is Bridget's, the Bridget Savatas closet. So now you can go back and let's see, let's pick one that's more, that I'm more familiar with. So for example, oh, this is also, it's Poshmark. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's any other. I don't think there's any other actually. That's really the only one that has a low price. So we can change our price here. Let's go a little bit higher just in case we want to buy from like a more reputable source than that one. Not saying that Poshmark is not reputable. I just have never used it. Um, that you can go directly to Nike. So see this is the Nike site. We click directly here. It's going to open up this site again and then I can go view product details and ooh typical prices. This is really yummy. It tells us the typical price for these shoes which is $275. That's the sweet spot for them. But when it drops, it's gonna send me an email. So, yeah, this is it. And that's how you monitor pricing on your running shoes. If you already knew this tip, let me know in the comments. If you were not familiar, let me know in the comments as well. And also let me know what you just put on your wish list. As always, give this video a huge thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe for more videos about running and run fearless.